Hey guys! So for the last couple of months, we have been running through the All The Mods 8 mod pack, doing just about every single mod that I know how to do, from productive bees, to bigger reactors, to create, to mystical agriculture, all the way back to Ars Nouveau. But we haven't really had an end goal. Well, what if I were to tell you that we can actually beat this mod pack? So this is in the shape of a star, and this mod pack has what is called the ATM star, the all the mods star. And this is how you get your creative items such as creative source jar, creative backpacks, creative power, creative anything for the mod pack. And it's just end game items basically. The only thing is, this star is incredibly hard to get, forcing you to go deep into the most complicated mods in the game. With these nine items in the center being the hardest items to get in the entire game, requiring hours of work. Except for this Patrick star. <laughs> Look at him. He's so funny. But we've got everything else. If you watched my 100 subscriber special, I mentioned these three times compressed nether star blocks. We have a bunch of them. These unobtainium olimodium alloy blocks and these awakened unobtainium vibranium alloy blocks. We have those too. We have the outside, all we gotta do is get the inside. But the first step to making the ATM star is to actually make a Patrick star. <laughs> all it is is just different colors of concrete, so it's not hard to make it all. Beautiful. Alright, so we got our concrete, both powdered and hard. Be sure to pay attention to that. So this is a mechanical crafter from the create mod, you can tell by the gears. What this does is it takes very large crafting recipes and allows you to do them. Uh, you just, you fill in the spots very specifically and it all comes together. So I have this set up to make the all the mod star, not the Patrick star. <laughs> so basically when you see these lines, uh, these uh, couple of blocks that look like they are connected, unlike these up here. That's uh, because these are all one input for the Alma Mod Star, but with the Patrick Star, it's it's not the same. <laughs> so I just gotta go around and collect those. Sadly, yeah, hey, I'm just gonna get this filled in real fast, and I will see you guys in a minute. All right, guys. So I have one last block here. Once I place it, it's gonna start crafting, and this is probably the coolest crafting mechanic I have ever seen in the game. So let's go all cinematic mode. Watch this. Wow. Oh, that's cool. Alright, but you see down here I have a depot, which is basically just an item holder from the create mod. With these with these crafters, you have to have all of you see all of these lines. You know, you saw them moving with you saw the items moving. They move in these lines. And what you do is you just take your wrench and you just move them on around. Like so. The items move across the lines, and at the very end. I have it to output down to this depot right here. It has to output to a depot. And maybe some other items in the create mod, but it has to be... Easiest way to do it is a depot. And you see right here, this little arrow pointing down, this is where it outputs. But you could have it anywhere. I could have it right here. I could have it right here. You know, I could even have it up here. Which actually, now that I think about it, it's kind of sick. <laughs> I might actually do that for the actual star, but instead of it outputting to the crotch. <laughs> well, yeah, look at that. Now we have a Patrick star, master of Patrick. And this takes me to our next order of business. That's the quest line. It has an entire quest dedicated to get to this star, which is, this is, yep, all the mods trophy. You beat the game, basically, once you get this star. Uh, you see, I already have a couple of these. Let's go ahead and collect my trophies. You get a pedestal, uh, some kind of reward, and another reward. But actually, I have a trophy room, so let me show it to you guys real fast. Here it is. My trophy room. This is where I'm putting all of my, all the mods trophies that I get. This one's gonna go right here. Master of Patrick. So you may have noticed that I already have a couple of these quests completed. This one, uh, Master of the Alloy, building the frame, is getting all of the unobtainium, all the modium, and unobtainium vibranium alloy blocks that we're going to need for the for the big thing. Master of Creation is getting this creative essence, which is not hard to make at all. We have a bunch of insanium. 
Harnessing the power of the nether is just the triple compressed nether star blocks. And we just got Master of Patrick, which is getting the Patrick star. Now that I went over that, let's go ahead and place all of these items into the frame. Finally, I've been waiting to do that for a long time because I've had these items for a while. Creative Essence, got one of those. We're going to need 28 of the all the modium alloy blocks. I just got a stack. <laughs> We only need two uh, of the uh, unobtainium vibranium blocks. Ooh, we need to do that first. Before we put the items in the frame, let's go do something else. Because <laughs> I forgot to do it. Whoops. And I need to show you guys anyways. So this is, right here, the Awakening Altar from Mystical Agriculture. It is very easy to use and very simple. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use these unobtainium vibranium alloys and we need to awaken them, in a sense. And what that means is just we're going to put them in this hopper and they're going to output onto this pedestal. It would look better if I didn't have a hopper on it, but this is uh, quick and easy. And that's what I'm about, efficiency. Now we're going to need a couple other blocks. Mainly we're going to need two vibranium blocks and we're going to need two unobtainium blocks. And that's going to go right there and right there. And the unobtainium is going to go right there and right here. And once I place it down, it's going to activate the uh, ritual. Missing essence. Fire essence. Once this fills up to 40, I'll activate the ritual. There we go. And now we got ourselves an awakened unobtainium vibranium alloy block. I'll say that five times fast. So what these little glass bulbs are here is they are full of essences. Elemental essences to be exact. Air, water, fire, and earth. All of them from mystical agriculture, of course. Uh, but it takes 40 essence to make a single item which we need to wait and make one more so and with this ritual you can place them in any order it doesn't have to be specific there we go we got our two alloy blocks let's go down back to our star chimmy 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 and let's get to place in all of our oh we got our nether star blocks now let's get to place in all of our items in the frame so we have the patrick star we have the creative essence we have the entire frame you see, that's what I was talking about, the connecting blocks. It's made for the ATM star. It's these frames. These frame items. Wow. There we go. Get our nether stars down. And now, get our awakened alloys. There we go. We have an almost complete star. But that's the easy part. <laughs> we just did the easiest stuff we could do for this star. And this took me hours <laughs> of work to do. Uh, but now, time for the hard part. The beginning of the end. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's uh, a bit of a shorter one. Uh, <laughs> a lot shorter, actually. <laughs> this just setting the stage for what we need to do next. Uh, but yeah, in the next episode, I think what I, what I want to do, my plan is, uh, is I want to, in the next episode, I want to get the hard part out of the way. And the hardest thing to do in this mod pack would definitely be mechanism. <laughs> Going through mechanism will definitely be the hardest part of this game. Going to making a fission reactor... <laughs> to making a steam turbine, to making a fusion reactor. Granted, the fusion reactor is probably is, well, not probably, it is the most powerful power producing uh, structure in the game, producing upwards of 500 million RF per tick, per tick. A tick is a 20th of a second. <laughs> in 20 ticks, which is one second, you would have a billion RF produced in one second, which is completely insane and also extremely difficult to do. But that's where we're going to work towards in the next episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I will see you guys next time. Bye bye. Yeah.